Hi everyone, we're coming to you live from One Africa Resort in Elmina, Ghana, West Africa. And we have spent about 11 days together. We've met a lot of people and there are two people here with me, Wendy and Eric. And I want to find out what their experience was like. So for Wendy, was this your first time to the motherland? Yes, this is my first time. And what was your experience coming here? It was great. I didn't know what to expect, but my expectations were met and exceeded. So I, I can't wait to get home to tell everyone the truth about Africa. And what, what is one of the truths that you'd like to tell them about Ghana? Uh, that nobody here is poor. They may not have <laughs> currency like we do, but they're not poor. Uh, they have plenty to eat. They can find places to sleep if they don't have their own shelter. So they have their own culture and way that they do things. And us outside of this, this place, we should not judge them on how they live because of how the European has taught us how to live. Perfect. And Eric, I know that this has been a trip of jubilation for you, as well as fulfillment, especially in terms of your dietary intake. What is it that you love most about the Ghanaian food? No, I love it all. <laughs> but, you know, I was, I was a little hesitant to eat everything because, you know, the trip, the way the trip laid out. But food-wise, I mean, I've been eating it for a year and I just got here, I kept eating it. And talk about the general energy that you feel being in the motherland and in Ghana in particular. It, it was right off the plane. Just, right off the plane. Just the fact that it's like, like I'm here finally. Yeah. It's very, a sense of belonging, let me say it like that. Yes. So, I don't want to leave. I got to leave. I, I, I can come back though. Okay. I will. So one of the great things about the Africa for the African store is that we visit various regions over the country. We're not just stuck in Accra. We've been to Kumasi. We've visited Pram Pram. We're in Cape Coast now. What has been your favorite region and why? That's a that's a setup. Pepper. No, it's not. <laughs> setup, because I did, I had a good time everywhere we went. Okay, uh, no favorite. Well, did, no, let me, let me okay. get it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna eat some of this. Uh, yeah, but uh, I say Kumasi is on top. It, it was the best contrast of like clubs and then things to see as far as you know history and all the stuff like that. And me, I even saw a golf course. Oh wow. So I could even do that. So Kamasi, if I when I repatriate, it'd be Kamasi. Kamasi. Yeah. And then were were either of you thinking about possibly purchasing land? Yes. And have you identified like an area from what you visited? Like, you know, this feels like home to me. Which era was that and why? Well um, I agree with Eric on Kamasi and I also uh, taking a liking to a brick. A brie? A brie. I like the mountains. I, I, I love, <laughs> love to be by the water because I love the beach. But uh, there's something about those hills in a brie and then having access to the Trinity home there, seeing those children. So I, I don't know. I might have to build three homes so I can be happy. Well, it's all right because what they say here in Ghana is that you can have more than one house. So you can have your family house. You can have the house <laughs> where you can get away from the family. And then you have your playhouse. Right. Okay, that's when you get away and don't let nobody know where you're going except he who you are taking with <laughs> Oh, wow. And, you know, the lady who just came in, the glorious, majestic-looking woman, this is Lady Ima Kuz, and we're at her beautiful resort, Wine Africa. Why should those who are watching come to Ghana and visit your paradise? Because this opens doors to possibilities. It's a welcome. It welcomes you home. You learn about yourself, you learn about all the possibilities that are open for us as returnees to the motherland. Because nobody thought we would ever come back. And we are back. And we're coming stronger and stronger. Right now, there's between seven and 10,000 of us currently living in Ghana. Now, only 34 of us have citizenship, which really is kind of tacky. But we, it's a start, okay? One Africa, I call it um, a halfway house. Halfway between where you're going and where you've been. And where you know you don't want to go back to. We do it here at um, One Africa. And miracles occur here. And I'm a testament to that. There are miracles. So y'all make sure you come. And um, if there's anybody out there who is interested in running a business, taking over One Africa, <laughs> so that I can uh, just wander around the world and tell the conductor, collects my ticket, 
I ain't gonna wait here for him. I'll come back occasionally, but I'm trying to fly. Awesome. And um, again, I'm sure all the testimonies that we've heard from Sister Wendy, Brother Eric, Lady Imacos, and some others you're gonna hear from should be enough to convince you to make your journey of a lifetime with Africa for the Africans. For more information, go to Africa for the Africans.org and if you'd like to give back to blacks across the world, visit igiveblack.org. Until we talk again, this is Yajis Petty Park saying bye and a to Ghana. Peace. <laughs>